Welcome back everyone, this is J7Js bringing you a shorter video on Zalmor's Celebrant. As usual, I'll be going over his abilities, equipment options, stats and multipliers, and then briefly comparing him to a typical white mage. For starters, he only has a few abilities, Kiraga, Kira, Arise, and Isuna, which are some of the more useful spells in white magic. However, in the formation screen, you can see that he can actually learn some other abilities from Beowulf's Templar, but this requires Zalmor being able to equip swords in order to use these skills, although he actually can't, unless you cheat or use some kind of device to equip a sword on him, and then he is able to use Confuse, Sleep, Drain, Silence, and Disable. Just like White Magic and Spellblade, the success rate of these abilities are largely based on how high your faith stat is and target faith, so increase it with Preach for best results. When it comes to equipping Zalmor, he actually has some variety, being able to equip rods, staves, dictionaries, and poles for his weapons. Like the typical mage, he can equip hats, clothes, robes, and of course, most accessories. For his stats and multipliers, I do like his 4 move, MA, along with his HP and MP, which is quite high for a mage, but I'm not liking that 10 speed. With this old man out of the way, let's now take a look at the white mage. For this example, I'm using a female, as they do make better magic users. For starters, we know what a white mage can use and do. They have more abilities that can help your team out, and we also can't forget about the big hitter holy, which most of us are fans of. For equipment, priests can use staves, hats, clothes, robes, and most accessories, so they are slightly more limited than some more. As for their stats and multipliers, I really like their speed and MA most, but we also can't forget their PA isn't too shabby. Lastly, they are the fastest of the mages, and I do like the way the females look, so extra points for style. Now let's rank who is better, Celebrant or the White Mage. Even though Zalmor does have more HP, MP, and slightly more magic, I gotta go with the White Mage, as they have more abilities, they're faster, and they look better. Speed is an important stat, and I just found his 10 just being a bit slow for my taste. You could do a double hand pull build with Zalmor, and the damage can be quite decent. This is where his higher HP and MP could shine, especially if you give him mana shield. And even though I did make a book build a while back, I highly don't recommend it unless you just want to mess around for fun. If he could equip swords though, it would be infinitely more useful, especially with sleep and disable. But that requires cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating. In short, Zalmor's unique job just isn't great for these reasons. Don't let his title and job description fool you, it's just another trick. This was all just a cheap trick. That's all for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.